just to kind of give you a little theory on how these operate. We have one here that's a cutaway. And if you look in the inside here, where the red is and the green is, okay? The red area is where it should not be running. The, the heating element in the fan should not be running if the water level is down within about a half an inch of the heating element. So if you see the heating element here and you see the red line, the green line, once the water level drops down to about a half an inch over the element, it should shut off. If it's not your bottom switch, this one will need to be adjusted. And then the other part is the high level, in other words, where the water fills in, it will come up to the point you see here at the top, about a half, halfway up on the boiling chamber on the inside. Then the water should shut off. So what will happen when it's running is that the water level will simply go up and down on that green level. In other words, it'll boil off so much water and it'll fill back in. It'll boil off and it'll fill in. The whole time the fan and the heating element are running and they keep running. The distiller itself does not know when the, when the storage tank is full. That's a function of the switch that's on the storage tank. So one of the drawbacks is you got to be careful if you're maintaining your still or working out or unplugging it. Be sure you always plug your distiller into the storage tank. The storage tank will shut the distiller off. Otherwise, it'll run forever. So here's the circuit. If you're going to watch here, this light would indicate the water fill. This light is when the heating element and fan are on. So as I raise this up, Okay, the heating element comes on, the fan comes on. As I go a little farther, the water shuts off. It'll start boiling. Then it'll come back on, off, on, off. And this takes time. I'm accelerating it for you. But if for some reason the water supply doesn't fill, the heating element you'll see will shut off. Or if you drain it while the distiller is running, or if, the, if you have an automatic drain valve on there, it will allow this to simply go to shut off without burning up the heating element. And that's the purpose of it, is to keep your heating element from burning out by not having water out of it. So the, the water's gonna try and fill all the time until it gets up to the point where it turns the heating element on and it gets up high enough where it'll shut off. Now at the top level, what we look for is, if you'll notice, there's a kink in this arm of the float. And as that goes up toward the top of the boiling chamber, when the water shuts off, right at that point, you should have about a finger's width inside the boiling chamber, between the top of that arm and the inside top of the boiling chamber. That's about the right setting for it. So you got it, it'll try and keep filling until the water gets over the element. Element starts up, water fills, shuts off when it's at this level, and the rest of the time it'll sit and cycle back and forth.